In this tutorial, we're going to create blinding lights by the weekend. We're going to use the J6 and also the T8. Let's start with the J6. First step, clear all. Shift, clear, enter. Set the tempo to 300. Choose sound, 6.1. Turn off variation, turn off chord. Set the filter to full or 255. Set the envelope to 16. Turn the delay off, set the reverb at about halfway or 125. Go to shift, menu and beat, enter, change it from eight to one, exit, exit again. Go shift, last and change it from eight to 64, exit. Make sure you get out of sound and we're going to input the melody into the chord sequencer. But before we do, go shift, Octave plus. Listen to the sound that you've got. This is the melody that will play. But we're going to input that melody into the chord sequencer. Input the following notes. Step one, F. Step two, hold. Three, hold, four, hold. Step five, F. Step six, hold, seven, hold. Step eight, E flat. Get out, shift, and number two. Step nine, F again. Step 10, G. Step 11, hold. Step 12, C. Step 13, hold. Step 14, E flat. Step 15, hold. Step 16, hold. Get out. Shift, three. Step 17, F. Step 18, hold. 19, hold. 20, hold. Step 21, F. Step 22, hold. Step 23, hold. Step 24, E flat. Get out. Shift, four. Step 25, F, step 26, G, step 27, hold, step 28, C, step 29, hold, step 30, E flat, step 31, hold, step 32, hold, get out, shift, 5, step 33, B flat, step 34, G, step 35, hold, step 36, F, Step 37, hold. Step 38, E flat. Step 39, hold. Step 40, F. Get out. Shift, six. Step 41, B flat. Step 42, G. Step 43, hold. Step 44, F. Step 45, hold. Step 46, E flat. Step 47, hold. Step 48, F. Get out. Shift, seven. Step 49, hold. Step 50, hold. Step 51, hold. 52, hold. 53, hold. 54, hold. 55, hold. 56, hold. Get out. Press play. I can hear there's one little mistake in there. That is in number five, so shift five, and it's this note here. I'm gonna change it to hold and get out. Let's hear it again. That's better. Okay, so on to the T8. We're going to add the drum pattern and first step is to clear everything. Shift, pattern clear all. Then we'll change the tempo to 150 and then input the following steps. Bass drum, one and nine. Snare drum, five and 13. Closed hi-hat, one, three, five, seven, nine and 15. Listen to what that sounds like. Next, we're going to add the 17 to 32 section. 
And you'll notice that it automatically puts the 1 to 16 step pattern in the 17 to 32. So we just need to adjust it one tiny bit and that's go to bass drum and we're going to add an extra bass drum on 11. This is what it sounds like. Now we need to fix the sound of the drum kit a little bit. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to put all our levels on 50%. The bass drum, we're going to tune it to 50% and then decay on 25%. Snare drum, tune it to 50% and decay also on 50%. But we're going to add some snappy to this snare drum. If you haven't done this before, follow along. Shift, menu, we scroll along until we find snappy. Enter and turn this up to 255. Exit, exit again. Hi-hat we're going to tune it to 75%. Let's hear what it sounds like. Remember, no reverb or delay for this one. Okay, we're now going to hear the J6 and the T8 together. I've used one cable from the mix out to the mix in. I'm not using the sync cables for this one because the tempos are different. One is half the speed of the other. What we're going to do here is we're going to try and press play at exactly the same time and we should hear the two together. <laughs> 